Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you again with another review video. This time I want to talk about the Clash of the Titans series. So, <clears throat> obviously everyone knows about the first original Clash of the Titans movie which came out in the 80s and since then, special effects have come a long way in cinema. Um, thank you, Industrial Light and Magic. Um, but <clears throat> they've made two more Clash of the Titans movies since then. And I believe that um, there was like talk of them doing like a trilogy or a series of it. So <clears throat> the first remake was really good. I really enjoyed it. The special effects were really great. Um, everything was really great about it. Um, the only complaint that I have about the series is that um, Hades is always portrayed as the bad guy. Now, that's because he's the ruler of the underworld. But what people don't understand is that the underworld also has the Elysian Fields, which is their version of heaven, basically. So, realistically, Hades would be, um, would not have, he wouldn't be evil. He would be somebody who's, um, I don't know what's the word for it, but he would be impartial to it, um, because he has hell, and well, Tartarus, and he has the Elysian Fields. So, to constantly put Hades as the bad guy, that's just unnecessary. Uh, he wasn't a bad guy in mythology. <clears throat> uh, so, that's really the only complaint that I had about the movie. Because um, I don't even... Remembering back to the original movie, he wasn't even the bad guy of the original, so I don't know why... They changed that up, and several movies have done it, where they've made Hades look like the bad guy, but realistically he's not. Um, so that's my only really major complaint about um, at least the first remake. Now, in my opinion, Wrath of the Titans was far better than The Clash of the Titans. So they mix a little bit of everybody's mythology in this movie, and it was really awesome um, to see Bill as um, Hephaestus. Um, he's an amazing actor. He played Victor in the Underworld movies. Um, <clears throat> and the Ares that's on Wrath of the Titans was really excellent. I mean, I that's how I would picture Ares to be. <clears throat> um, let's see. Liam Neeson as Zeus. Come on. That's an amazing choice for Zeus. That's because Liam Neeson is um, very charming. Uh, you know, and he's authoritative, which is Zeus. So, um, it was an excellent choice. I do feel... Now, my criticism on the Wrath of the Titans. Let's just say... I, have, I am so into Greek mythology. I love Greek mythology. Um, and... To even think that a movie would show Zeus and any of his brothers or sisters fighting with him against a titan, you wouldn't even think that, you know, movies would even touch on that. And at the end of Wrath of the Titans, they did. Um, and to, to witness it on the theater screen, because I went to the theaters and seen it, it was so incredible to, to see. Uh, Ralph Fiennes is an amazing actor to play for Hades. <clears throat> and 
I like Andromeda's portrayal in this one in Wrath of the Titans versus uh, Clash of the Titans. Um, the only real complaint that I have about it is that uh, so um, the gods rely on our prayer to them for their power and that that's what feeds them their power to make them powerful and everything and at the end battle when Zeus and um Hades rise up against their father who's a huge great big titan he comes out of the underworld where he's trapped out of a volcano it was an epic scene where a war was taking place now, if the writers wanted to make a third one, because I think that they messed it up royally at the end here, I think that they should have um, had like the army get down on a knee and pray to Zeus and Hades, and I think that that would have been interesting and a very powerful scene to make them more powerful. I'm not gonna say how the scene, you know, how the movie ended or anything like that because I'm not into spoilers. And me saying this does not affect the ending at all for anybody. <clears throat> because anything could have happened. Um, I'm just saying that in order to make the scene stronger and more powerful, they should have, um, you know, organized that or written it into the movie where, because a war was taking place. And the humans were losing against the underworld creatures and everything. So I think that it would have been cool for, you know, it just would have been cool if they would have gone down on one knee and prayed to their gods to protect them against all these creatures and the Titan and everything because they would have amassed so much more power. And they, Zeus and Hades demonstrated their power quite successfully. But they could have done so much more if they would have had the prayer from their from the the army that was fighting against all these nasty underworld creatures and everything. So it could have been a little bit different, especially if they wanted to make a trilogy out of it, um, which they should have. Um, the movie definitely had more emotion going on than the first one. Um, and I liked, I loved the style of Wrath of the Titans more than Clash of the Titans. I loved the story more than the first one. Uh, so I think that they did progress it. They just fell short of what they could have done in order to make a third one. Um, because that was their plan, their original plan. Um, but that's a mistake that the that their studio did so um I understand that box office is a lot of you know a lot of the reason why they were hesitant on making a third one also which i i don't care about that stuff because i believe that quality over quantity is what the audience wants and we definitely got that with wrath of the titans versus clash of the titans so <clears throat> I mean, I loved both movies. I enjoyed both movies. It's just that the Wrath of the Titans was more enjoyable than the Clash of the Titans. So, in my opinion, everybody's opinion is different, and you could think differently when you watch it. Um, I highly recommend the series. I love Greek mythology. It was very action-y. It had its romance. It has its own style. Um, it's, you know... It had a little bit of everything. Medusa loved Medusa. Their uh, like their effects on Medusa during the Clash of the Titans, the remake. She was awesome. I think that they did an excellent job with her. Um, the Kraken was really good. I really loved their. Um, you know their. Uh, special effects for it, even though the Kraken really isn't Greek mythology, um, or didn't even belong in that legend necessarily. 
But they put it in there, and so it is what it is. And it, and it turned out really great, actually. But um, there's a few things I would have changed about some of the things that happened, you know. But it is what it is. Uh, you know, no movie is perfect. Um, every movie has its own flaws, but it also had its strengths overpowered its flaws, so that's always great. Um, so, there's my review on the Clash of the Titans series. Um, if you like, um, just comment, like, subscribe. Um, I love talking about Greek mythology, so we can talk about it for days. So, if you want to, just message. And have a great day. Until next time.